Well, one valley neighborhood woke up and couldn't go anywhere, and that's because someone slashed dozens of tires, leaving people helpless and stranded. Team 12's Tram Mai explains what happened. Hey guys, imagine if you had to go to work, take the kids to school, or just run an errand, but you couldn't because the tires on your car were slashed. That's what happened to an entire neighborhood. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I hope they catch you does it. I really do. This doesn't make sense to me. Neighbors woke up to this. That's terrible. Tires slashed left and right. Knife punctures in my tires. And police at their homes. It's horrible. We're super upset about it. In Tolleson near Buckeye Road and 83rd Avenue overnight. When I came out about 1.30, the cops were here. So between 12 and 1.30. Bruce Oakley's lived here for eight years. Well, on my block, I counted 20. On the other one, about eight to 10. But cops say the actual number was at least 60 vehicles flat. It's a bad day for everyone. And they're all wondering. I don't know why someone would do it. Doesn't make sense. A lot of cars, unfair, don't understand why, uh, you know, why people would do something like this. Yet some are trying to be positive, knowing it could have been worse. They didn't vandalize the rest of the car. You know, they didn't put a rock or brick to the, to the windows, they didn't key it or anything, you know, silly like that. Regardless. Anyway, I hope they catch you does it. I really do. Now, in the meantime, the discount tire off 99th Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road has stepped up and they're willing to help anyone who had their tires slashed in this case. Back to you.